Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to implement uh, Spring AOP before advice using XML configuration. In this video tutorial, we are going to consider how to implement after advice. So if you look into this Java class, so this class we have registered as a Spring Aspect, Spring AOP Aspect and here I have defined a method is called before advice and I have registered this method in the XML file as a before advice. So now I am going to define another method in this advice class and I would give the method name as so same method I am going to copy paste I would say after advice and same parameter joining points I am passing over here and here I say after method uh, here dynamically I am retrieving method name and class name so my agenda is to when I will call this service class method then before calling this method this advice method should get called and once execution of this method gets complete then I would like to call this advice method after advice method so now this method already we have registered as a before advice in configuration file but this method I would like to register as a after advice in this configuration file so here in the AOP aspect within this AOP aspect here I would like to define AOP colon after so we have a different tag like AOP after, AOP after returning, AOP after throwing and AOP after AOP around these are the tags we have to define for different advices so here we would like to define after advice so AOP colon after and here we need to specify method name and here let's specify point cut ref and point cut ref I am going to specify id of this point cut that's it now if I run this service method from our client program let me show you then look at here so before method update account balance and class name is account service I am so this output we are getting from the before advice after that our service method has been called so service in service method we are just printing the account number and amount and finally this line is getting printed by after advice right so if you look into the, this aspect class here there are two advices after advice this message is coming from the after advice so it's very simple to define after advice isn't it so that's all I wanted to configure in this video tutorial next video tutorial we are going to look how to uh, how to define after returning or, or and after throwing advice so that's all i have in this video tutorial guy guys so let's uh, see in next video tutorial i would define how to implement next advices so till that happy learning and see you in next video tutorial thank you so much